Hello guys, my name is Mr. Bot here today, and today we're doing some Kerbal Space Program. Now this was in the uh, little channel um, trailer thing that I did a couple days ago. Well, oh, a couple days ago on time of recording this, is what I mean by that. So let's start, and we're going to start a new game. And I have another one, and it's kind of has a couple... It's just random stuff. So, username. We're gonna do bot crew gaming just for fun. There's no career mode unless that's in the latest update that I don't have. Um, how could we do this? Which flag should we do? Hmm. Let's do capsule. I don't know. Um, maybe I'll put my little logo thingy in the flags thing and change it next. So, uh, yeah, now we're here. We have the launch pad. There is preloaded things, like chips that you can use. Um, this is the tracking station. Sorry, somebody slammed the door. And this is where you can see all the planets. Now, there is crap done. Like, that's... Hello? I don't even know. But it's ridiculous how many planets there are, and you'd be surprised how hard it is just to get to our own moon. What is that? Is that. Wait a minute. So. Kerbin, that's. That's the main planet. Okay, so it's just our main solar system. I thought we were going even further out. Yeah, it's just our solar system. So. And in our little thing, wait a minute, what's that then? Is that like the closest, I'm confused what you are. We're supposed to be, you're the mun. You're what uh, we're, we're going to try and get to within the first couple of hours. I can't promise that I'm going to be making everything from my own ideas. Like, the first episode here I'm just going to be messing about and... Uh, Basically showing you what the game is like, if you haven't already seen what it is, but Kerbal Space Program, it's... If you don't already know what it is, you build ships and try to get to planets and stuff. And it's really hard just to get into orbit, anyways, for me. So let's start out, we started out with a Mark I cockpit. <laughs> um, now, we just wanted to get into orbit. So, I'm going to add that there. Let's move you up. I always like building them really high up. So we have all this space. And <laughs> look at the little guy. They're all dancing. The guy with the little glasses and stuff. So, we are going to add that uh, fuel tank thing. Um, What else should we add now? We should definitely... Oh, there's parachutes. There's parachutes. Um, next page. Parachutes. Okay, let's go into symmetry mode. Right there. Um, do we want tell us? Uh, we won't add that. Control. Oh yes, we need an SAS unit. So we're gonna add. Gonna add one of these and one of these. Perfect. Then we've an advanced and a not advanced. Center of mass right there. Then we'll add some con people aren't liking the close and shut doors today. Or while I like to record. Thruster block. That's what we're gonna do. The thinner mass was somewhere around there, so we're gonna add might as well just add them anywheres. It's so we can control our ship our into orbit much easier. Okay. Now what we wanna do is we wanna add a engine. This one has 45 instead of 30, so it must be better. Now, let's add a detacher. And let's go back to here. Now, what should we add now? Let's put two more of these on. Come on, there we go. Um, hmm. Okay. Have some more propulsion. Let's add another one of you down here. And now let's add some boosters. Actually, no, we have to add the 
the uh, decouplers. Let's put them right about here. Now let's go back to propulsion. Put these on. You can put these things in really strange places, but usually your ship blows up then. If you do that there. Now let's just kind of move around a bit. Yes, we can move around like this. Um, okay. Looks good. Now down here, I want I want all my rockets to be going off at the same time because um now I'm going to make this a little bit more complicated. I'm going to add some some more of these down here. Can they yeah, they can go right here. And we're going to add some of these and then we're going to attach these all up to the to the main fuselage thing. Oh, no, not you. Ah, no, no. Uh, stay there. Uh, what am I grabbing now? Okay, you. You need, I'll attach you through the bottom. There to there. There we go. Now those, oh, that's not going to work. I just realized. Ah! There we go. There we go. The reason that wasn't going to work is because we are going to add a engine right here. Except, let's click, drag, that. Ah, right. Here. And then we have to move you up with the rest. And this is kind of a trial and error stage. Now we have to go test fly it. And actually first, let us do some of these. Um, that will blow up our ship. Let's do it right here. But we should probably add some structural Diff. There, that looks nice and structural. Let's add you to here and put another one. You to here. That looks good. Won't wobble as much. Um, so, so I'm just gonna. <laughs> that was bad. Um, okay, so now, um, now. I'm going to launch flight, and we are going to see, we're going to see which um, rockets run out of fuel the earliest. So this is kind of a laggy situation right here. I thought there was an ocean around me for a second. Um, okay, so we have to wait a bit for it to all load up and stuff, and then you'll notice this thing right here will go up to here. Yep, we haven't blown up yet. So it works. We're still good. Turn my SAS on and my RCS. I'll keep me moving around and stuff. And launch. Kaboom. Now we have to figure out which two, like which pairs of rockets run out of fuel first. So we will keep an eye on you over here. So. Which one's running out the fastest at the moment? You must be the bottom one, because you're lasting the longest. At the like how it's set up now, they're all just gonna break off at the same time, so that's not ideal for maximum efficiency, I guess you would say. And if you're an expert and you're watching this and you're like, you're not no, wrong, I don't care. Let me be me and just fail a lot. Um, it looks like the solid fuel thrusters are going to run out first. Then the liquid fuel. Okay. Let's just see how high we can get. If we can get to 10,000, I'll be happy. Well, we obviously will get to 10,000. Because, uh... We are almost there. And we're there. Haha. <laughs>
Now those are gonna run out, but I don't wanna detach yet. I'm gonna detach when these run out. And boosh. Boosh. Kaboosh. There we go. There. Now that one's still going and we still have propulsion. We're slowing down a bit. If you're wondering, our speed is right here. This is kind of a steering like globe thing, like if I were to move around, but I have the SAS on, so I won't. Um, we have to get into orbit, hopefully. And if you wonder how the fuel went up, it's something to do with when I have... Oh, whoa. Why did... I can... It, I just heard, like, myself go robot -y. If you're wondering how I heard myself, it's the mic I have, instant feedback, whatever. But that was weird. Anyways, so, we are getting up to... Almost going to be in orbit, I think, here on, or maybe it's in here aboard. Hmm. Maybe we should go into, actually, let's just press C to be safe. We're in the cabin. Now we can interact with, we can interact with stuff here. There's the thing there. And then if you go over here, here's the throttle. So if I power down, it's going to go up and down and stuff. Um, that's the same ball thing there. I'll explain what that thing is in a minute once we're high enough. But it's usually more comfortable to be out here. So I'm going to throw down. Because we have a lot of speed and a lot of fuel. Or loot? What did I say? Decent amount of fuel. So let's turn gear off or whatever. It does nothing. No target. What? I'm confused. So, what happens if I spam that? Will it say no target? No? Okay. Okay, um, we, yeah, we're in orbit now. So, if we press M, we will be at another view of our little thing. Let's bring up this. And let's turn that off. And I'm going to steer the ship into this little thing. And when we're there, because we have a really long ship, and I forgot to put more uh, more things on to make it easier to control, um, it's really wobbly. But when we're in that area, like that little green thing, and we're right there, like right now, let's turn on our thing, you'll see our orbit, which let's zoom out, expands. Hopefully. Let's improve this a little bit more. Right there. Oh, no. Let's move over a little bit more. Booyah. Okay. Let's go back to here. Checking our fuel. The one... I don't know. I haven't updated it. But the one complaint I have is that I can't see how much fuel I have here. Which is really annoying. So I'm going to power down. And... Oh, whoa. I pressed control there. but Okay, good. Um, one thing that's kind of cool is we want to boost while we're around here. So if we're like really far away, we can use a warp thing, but we're really close, so I don't really want to. Let's go here. Tap and then boost. And you'll see our orbit gets bigger. Um, I don't know if we're even going to get around the... Get into orbit. Oh no, we have another stage. Never mind. This is just the first stage. Booyah. But. Yeah, we might. We might. That would be awesome if it's the first recording of this and I get first recording and first episode I get into orbit. That would be sweet. And I. I'm not even in the thing. Um, not even, didn't even time the thing yet. Oh, let's move over here. I don't know if I'm moving fast enough. Oh. And let go. Power on the next one. Now we're going to move a lot faster with this one. Booyah. Okay. We just, come on, make it around the planet. What we 
Okay, we can't do that while we're throttled up, but we can, as you can see, there's a little warp thing up here. I personally don't think we're going to make it around the, uh, oh, maybe. We might, but usually when I get around to this area, oh, are we, are we really doing this? Really? Come on, please work. Oh yeah, we have orbit around the planet, just barely at the moment, but we are have orbit. Okay, we are throttled down. Um, we don't want to speed up around here. It will bring us closer to the planet. So let's warp up. It's very slow because we're really close to the planet. Oh well. Doesn't matter. Uh -huh. I really want to keep this orbit. <laughs> Come on. It'll take a little while. Are you shrinking? No. No! Please, no. Okay. Thank goodness. Why are you shrinking so much? Holy crap. Can I zoom up at it all? Nope. <laughs> How much fuel do I have left? Oh, I'm out. Damn it. Oh well. I, this ship might die. Ship. I said ship. Okay, so. Um. We can either end the flight, which I'm not going to do, or we can just go to the space center and work on another ship. So, yeah, that was a successful first episode. If we want to see our ship in action, we can go to the space thing. Can I speed up? No, I can't. So, yeah, I don't know what that, all that hubba jubba is, but, well, that's our little thing. Any info? Are we still gonna pre shrinking or whatever? No, we're not. Okay, so yeah, this was a successful first episode. Um, I'm gonna try and put out at least, I don't know, like at least, at least one of these a week. But we'll see what I can do and stuff. We can either f quit the flight, as in abort it, or fly it from here another thing to note but uh yeah thanks for watching uh, that was a hiccup a really weird hiccup but uh yeah thanks for watching like i said uh, three to i hit my mic i am failing at outros today um thanks for watching again and if you want to see any more of this like the video if you enjoyed the video like the video um subscribe for more and i'll see you next time bye